Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel And welcome back to another episode of Don't be telling my business But I got to Because it's scandalous Okay It's very scandalous Child Cam K said I have to send Yay back to the streets And the streets he shall return we all know Kim is no saint. We all know she has definitely been run through. And she has been going through a lot of men. Okay? A lot of men. Because she was really deemed as a groupie at one time. Okay? And I think she was Paris Hilton's assistant. Until she became famous for her sex tape. That I'm pretty sure her and... Brandy's brother Ray James put out there okay I'm just saying she was known for them streets that's how she got hooked up with Kanye West because of Ray J he put her on he made her famous for her vagina okay I'm just saying keeping it real but Kim is no stranger to athletes she's no stranger to the who's who she's been rubbing heads on what we call it elbows armpits all of it okay and she definitely got the children out of yay to go on and live a lavish lifestyle but in a sense she don't make her own money uh with the help at least the help of her mom they have definitely carved out a very nice niche for themselves so technically she don't need yay for no money but you know she gonna get it okay because she don't mess with no bro eggers at all. So she's going to get what she need to get. Because technically, she's been studying the law. Alright. And it took her four tries to pass the baby bar exam. So how many times is she going to take the real bar? Is it going to take her four more tries? Would it be a total of eight? Would you want her representing you? Chaply. Okay, I ain't gonna say she won't be familiar because as many times as she had to take it, she might could write a book on it. I'm not sure the pitfalls of not passing it for four times or not passing it for three times and making it gold on the fourth time, even though we may look at it as bronze because she had three separate times or two separate times to get it right and she didn't. And it's not like she has such a grueling work schedule. I mean, her mom is the one that managed her. But it just is what it is. But she's saying, no way. No way, no way. We can't be back like we used to be. I got to cut my ties with you so I can be free. Yeah, she trying to throw Kanye back in them streets. She said, I ain't got nothing for you no more. You ain't embarrassing me. I ain't embarrassing you no more. It just is what it is. We got four. But she has four kids. Beautiful kids. And you need your life. I need mine. And right now, I want to be single. Single. Yes, that's what she hollering in them streets. Kim Kardashian says, there isn't any value in trying to reconcile with Kanye West. I said, ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch, Kanye? You did all of that for it to come out to she dating and want to date herself and other men that she chooses, okay? It ain't got nothing to do with you. It says, the reality is there's no hope for Kim Ye, meaning Kim and Kanye. She says, over, it's a wrap. She's running, she's a drag star. All right, Kim Kardashian, who filed Friday to be legally single, has zero intentions of getting back together with a strange husband, Kanye West, according to new supporting legal documents. She filed they were obtained Monday by guess who, y'all? Guess who? Who's the super snoop? TMZ. <laughs> TMZ is the new paparazzi out there, guys. TMZ is the new paparazzi. Okay. But well, like I said, we're getting it from the daily news. But every outlet has it. Every social media outlet of the who's who, the bloggers, the YouTubers, 
the commercial entertainment business that leak out stuff because they want the public to know and to gravitate to their salacious stories they're putting out there. So, yeah. She says, no counseling or reconciliation effort will be of any value at this time. Read the declaration from the reality star. Or they're asking us to read the declaration from the reality star. 41 according to this gossip site. Okay, let's see. Irreconcilable differences has existed and continue to exist exists for the one-time power couple according to kardashian's filings kardashian noted the issues have caused our marriage to irretrievably break down according to tmz news of the request shouldn't be new to west for who's 44 according to the documents in which kim kardashian says she's been trying to settle our disillusion since filing for divorce in february the documents accuse west of ignoring his wife's several requests to bifurcate and terminate our marital status the two both deserve the opportunity to build new lives read the documents and i'm like cam 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 girl you got everything you wanted from the man, and now you're trying to throw him to the wind. You got four beautiful children that he's going to be paying a lifetime for them. Okay? It seems like you have everything. So with that, you don't need his light anymore now, do you? You have drained him, drip dry, to where he is irretrievably broken is what it is. And you can't deal with it. You're like, I got four children raised. They driving me insane. I'm driving my own insane. My own self insane by all this ridiculous work ethic I got going on. I don't have no time to just be me. And on top of that, he want me to stay married to him. I can see. I can hear. This is what Kimberly is saying in her mind. Okay. And her mom ain't got nothing else to do with it. Because evidently, if she did, it would be no divorce divorcing procedures going on because when kim speak everybody in her household listen okay but going back to the article it says west seems to not be hearing the message or he just doesn't care having sung to the la memorial coliseum last week with kardashian and the couple's four kids in attendance that he has every intention of reconciling according to tmz Late last month, West admitted to having made mistakes and said he's publicly done things that were not acceptable as a husband and believes that if they got back together, it would show other spouses they can get through hard times. Kardashian, who married West in 2014, have recently been linked to Saturday Night's Live cast member Peter Davidson, or Pete Davidson, following her hosting gig on NBC's sketchy comedy show. Well, I can't really say, and it's just my opinion, that uh, she's going to end up with Pete Davidson, you know, the guy she's running around with the blonde hair and all of that, going to football, I mean, basketball games and, you know, date nights out and stuff of that thing, seeming like she may like him. And I'm like, she just want to get away from Kanye. So if she can hook up with another man just to imply that she's moving on, unmoved on, and this is the one she chose to move on with, meaning that guy, I think it's that guy. Um, she gonna do whatever she have to, so she can uh hopefully convince Kanye to go extra stage left because she don't want him no more. She done dried him up. She done did everything she got. She done spirit spiritually took his mojo. She done took his mentality. She done took his livelihood. <laughs> it ain't nothing for ever her to take anymore. So she's done with him. She's tossing him back to the streets. Okay, like a rag doll that's been discarded because it has too many uh, places that it needs to be fixed, and it's better off to get a new doll than try to repair the one that you know your little girl has definitely grown to love. Okay, at least that's how Kim is seeing the issue at hand. Ah, I don't did all I can for this marriage. I can't do it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I got to go. 
that's pretty, basically what she's saying. But she didn't let him go, and it was to it was time that she wanted to let him go. Interesting. And then I heard or I saw an article where Kanye is supposed to be selling all of his mansions or real re, re excuse me redoing his mansions where they're gonna be churches. I said, wait, man. <laughs> See, this type of behavior is probably what's driving Kim up the wall. She didn't sign up for all of that, okay? And we really don't know what type of religion she practices, okay? Uh, but Kanye is supposed to be turning his uh, residential properties into church synagogues now. I'm like, what? So he's saying he's going to be homeless, I'm like, no, Kanye, because if you turn your homes into a church organization, you get that, uh, what is it, 503 or 501c state tax where you could actually live on the property, you know, somewhere in one of the houses adjacent from the other place you want to put it as a church setting. And you can live rent free there. So I don't know who you think you're fooling. I don't think who you know who you fooling, Kanye. Everybody ain't fools out here. All right, so you need to continue going to therapy because, honey, your wife is, has checked out. She has filed for a legal separation on paper leading up to a divorce, but it's giving her the leeway, which a lot of celebrities seem to be using these days, uh, <coughs> legal separation. So... I guess so they can go and date and, and carry on in the public eye and it's not deemed that they're cheating or they're having an affair. So they want everything to be like spotless clean. I'm like, shoot, if you're going to have something like that, you might well have a quickie divorce and call it a day, especially if it ain't no fights about property division or custody battles. If everything's like pretty much cut and dry you should be able to get a divorce within 30 days that's why i feel about it because the whole thing about matrimony and being faithful and going through uh did anybody listen to their wedding vows or they just took it as uh yeah we hear it but we're not gonna uh adhere to that we need to write our own rules or what we want to go by in our marriage you know like just changing the whole dynamics i mean nothing really changes it can be tweaked here and there but that's what we have as a guideline to set us away from being beasts when we're human beings. You know what I'm saying? So it just is what it is, honey. Everybody's looking at both of them as, really? Y'all want to separate after all this time, after all them babies, after all y'all done went through? Isn't that what marriage is supposed to be? To be there for the good and the bad, the sick and healthy? It is, that's not, not what y'all signed up for. But, honey, get down in the comments if y'all want to. And we can have a discussion about it. Because I'm like, I'm dumbfounded. I'm like, woman, <laughs> you really don't have to work. You really don't work. You just get on a television show and try to show the public your comments and goings. But that's pretty much it. But you wants to get up there and have your freedom and be able to date somebody new to go on and destroy, drain them dry mentally, physically, and emotionally, and, and move on to the next candidate. I'm like, oh, girl, you taking an old playbook out of Ray J's thing where he got what he wanted, and then he just tossed you to the wind. And then you, you know, went with uh, Chris for a moment and some other fella. Then you hooked up with Kanye, you know. <laughs> I'm like, this is too much, too much, too much. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like I said, it was short and sweet, to the point. Kim trying to get her law degree out there, trying to get her another life uh, away from the entertainment world. She wants everything to be like her dad, Rob Kardashian, I guess, where she's seeking to follow in his footsteps and be an attorney and fight the good fight for the less fortunate, I'm guessing. I know she ain't trying to be a celebrity attorney, but then again, she could be burning both ends both candles at the end or one candle on both ends you know what i'm saying this is what it is but anyway that's all i have for this video and i'll check y'all out on the next one be breezy